hey, it's Katie, and today I'm counting down my top five favorite Disney dragons. So, for those of you who know me, you know I love my dragons, and you know I love Disney. So I was really excited to be able to make a top five best Disney dragons. And putting this list together was very tough, because some of these dragons aren't exactly, like, main characters, so I really hope that maybe in the future Disney will make a movie with some more dragons in it. Uh, I just think that would be really, really cool. So starting us off at number five, Madame Mim from Sword in the Stone. Whew, I don't even know where to start, but when she turns into a dragon, when I was a kid, that freaked me out. I hated her. Hated her. So much. I don't know why. I, I just... When I was a kid, I picked favorites, and I loved Sword in the Stone, and I just hated her. She just creeped me out. I don't know what it was. It was the dragon with the hair on it, and it just... She kind of freaked me out. But regardless, she was still a pretty cool dragon, and uh, so she's on my list at number five. Number four, Elliot from Pete's Dragon. Now, of course, he had to be on my list because that movie is classic 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 and Elliot's just your typical awesomely great and sweet best friend who's also a dragon and you know I've always wanted a dragon as a friend it's a classic movie and he's just your classic dragon number three the Hydra from Hercules otherwise known as a three-headed dragon oh my gosh okay so I loved Hercules because growing up I was obsessed with Greek mythology you can blame Xena, but I was so obsessed with Greek mythology, so I used to, like, buy all these Greek mythology books and study all, like, the, the crazy creatures and, you know, all the Greek gods and goddesses, and so when I watched Hercules, I was in heaven. And the fact that there was a Hydra in Hercules, I was just like, oh my gosh, Hercules has to know that if he cuts off one, it's just gonna spout out more, and it's gonna be insane for Hercules, like, come on! And, yes, you can picture a little, like, five-year-old Katie like just trying to battle dragons but I just think this dragon is so cool and I really do think that would be awesome if someone could make a movie about a Hydra like a really freaking awesome looking one like a live-action movie like put the budget and everything that they spend on making smog and Smaug, Smaug. I have such a hard time saying his name. And make an awesome Hydra. I just think that would be really, really cool. And I always love that. And oh, Hercules is one of my favorite movies. And it happens to have an awesome dragon in it. So of course, the Hydra, three-headed dragon, million-headed dragon, possibly, is number three. Number two, Mushu from Mulan. Ah, oh, Mushu is the annoying sidekick that you don't want to have around, but at the same time, you want him to always be there for you. Mulan has always been one of my favorite movies, and Mushu is just a hilarious dragon. I actually love that he's a lead character. Well, I know he's a sidekick. He's a supporting character. Either way, he's got a big role as a dragon in a movie, and I love that. It was so great, and Mushu, Eddie Murphy, is just hilarious <laughs> as Mushu. And I just love all the trouble he gets into. It's like... No one believes in him. They think that he can't do anything, a lot like Mulan, and they end up having like the same kind of journey throughout the movie of proving themselves and showing in the end that even though I kind of did everything wrong and screwed up a lot along the way, I still saved the day and I'm a hero. And I love that about Mushu and I, I love Mushu. He's a great dragon. There needs to be more dragons. Come on, Disney. All right, here it is. The number one best Disney dragon. You've all predicted it because it is Maleficent as a dragon. That is the coolest dragon, whether you watch it in the original Sleeping Beauty movie or you see it in the new movie Maleficent. The dragon is incredible. Sleeping Beauty is kind of your typical damsel in distress and then the prince comes and he slays the dragon to save the beautiful princess and it's just this classic timeless story and the dragon is so epically awesome. Especially in the new movie Maleficent, the dragon was awesome. Ridiculously awesome and I love it. And when I went to Disney World and saw the new parade with the new gigantic fire-breathing dragon Maleficent that they have in the parade, I nearly lost it. I'm serious, I almost passed out because when you see that thing and then it breathes fire, you're just like, wow, Disney. 
wow, that's incredible. So I was so excited to see Maleficent as the dragon in Disney World in the parade. And also that is the best dragon. This is the best Disney dragon. Well, there you have it. Top five best Disney dragons. But I wanna know from you, how did I do? What'd you think of my top five? And who would be your number one Disney dragon? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe.